Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Lock, and today we are going to do a soup because it's this winter, it's freezing outside, and it's soup weather, and I love soups, and nothing does a soup like an instant pot. Today I wanted to do a soup that's on the lighter side, not a super heavy rich broth per se, in terms of like dairy in there, but instead, <laughs> we're gonna have all the flavor be all from the broth. Maybe a little sausage, you don't have to add it, completely optional, and wonderful, wonderful melt-in-your-mouth escarole and some beans. We're making a classic Italian soup called bean and escarole soup, or escarole and bean soup. And like I said, you have the option to add sausage. It adds extra rich flavor to the soup without it being too heavy. But you'll see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go right to the Instant Pot and make something very special, and the best part, super quick, three minute pressure cook time, and less than 10 ingredients. Don't believe me? You're about to. Let's do it. All right, so for escarole and bean soup, or bean and escarole soup, well, regardless of how we want to pronounce it, we gotta have some escarole in there. And escarole is in the endive family, which means in its raw state, it's gonna have maybe a slightly bitter tinge to it, but once it's cooked, it is amazing. It has like a lettuce consistency, as you can see. Regardless, what I wanna do is I wanna chop up that escarole. And there we go, all nice and chopped up. And when I actually chop this up, um, you see I kind of leave like the bottom hard stalky part intact. You can, if you want the harder pieces, you could put them in, but I would recommend not. Use more of the fluffy leaf section of the escarole for this soup. All right, now let's move on. Okay, now I want to go to my Instant Pot and I want to add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. But what I want to do here is I want to hit the saute button and make sure I'm on the high setting. You just adjust that by tapping this. You can either go to a custom temperature or you can go to low or a high. There's no medium. So if you want to be medium, you go to like the custom and set it for that. But I always, always saute at high for the most part, like 99.9% .9 of the time. And because this has a start button, I have to hit that to get going. Okay, and after our oil is heated up in the pot for about three minutes, I'm going to do the optional step here and add some ground Italian sausage meat. If you can't find ground Italian sausage, you can just get a pound of links, this is a pound of ground, and just slice them open and then just take the meat out of the casing. And if you don't want any sausage in this soup, simply leave it out. I'm just going to skip sauteing the sausage. All right, and when you add it to the pot, just grind it up there. Just make sure it gets all nice and crumbling. And again, this is not required. It's just a nice optional have here. Adds additional flavor to that soup. All right, now once our sausage meat is crumbly and getting a bit brown there, that's not to be fully brown. We are going to add in our escarole. And again, if you didn't add any sausage or you don't want any of that, just simply add the escarole once the olive oil's hot. And six cloves or two tablespoons of garlic that's minced, pressed, or crushed. And we're going to continue to saute this in the pot. The escarole is going to wilt down significantly. Just give everything in the pot a good stir for a couple of minutes and saute. And as you're sauteing and stirring the escarole in the pot, if you added the sausage, really kind of try to like press it down so you're getting the bottom of the pot nice and smooth and clear of any browned bits. And you'll see that escarole really wilts down. In fact, if you wanted more escarole, now you can cut another head up and you can add that one in there. See? Look at that, more if you want. I confess I got two heads because I figured I might want more, but you can totally just use one. And just continue to saute it until everything wilts. Got our sausage in there. To me, that's the perfect amount. You don't want it to be overrun with sausage. All right, look at that. Literally cooks down into nothing, that escarole. Okay, next up, I'm gonna add in six cups of chicken broth or garlic broth or whatever broth you wish. And I'm gonna season it with two teaspoons of some black ground pepper. Now you can also freshly crack this in there if you want, that's completely up to you. Nothing like some fresh cracked pepper in a soup, but of course you can use the stuff that's already ground as well. Give that all a good stir in the pot, make sure everything's nice and combined in here. And now I'm gonna to top it off with two 15 and a half ounce cans of beans. Uh, and I have also rinsed and drained them, hence them being in the strainer. Uh, for this, I'm using a can of cannellini and a can of great northern beans, but you can use navy, any kind of white bean you want, or any red or kidney bean. It doesn't make a difference. Um, but when I'm adding them, I'm just going to leave them on the top. I don't want to stir them into the pot. Just leave them right there, kind of like how I treat a pasta in this situation. Okay, that's it. We're ready to pressure cook. I'm going to take my lid, and I'm going to secure it. And I'm going to hit that cancel button now. And then from there, I want to hit pressure cook. And I'm gonna pressure cook this, guys, for just three minutes at high pressure. If I'm on the Pro Plus, which I'm using right here, it's very mirrory, you know, are you seeing my reflection in here? Make sure that you're on quick release because the steam releases itself in this situation. You have natural release, which you know what that is. It won't release until you tell it to. Pulse, which will do it in uh, intermittent bursts. And then quick, which will immediately quick release when the cooking cycle is complete. And then hit start to get going on this model. If your model doesn't have a start button, 
just whenever you're done hitting the setting, after a few moments, it'll get going on its own. And now that we're done pressure cooking, it's gonna go right into quick release mode automatically because that's where it's set. So after just a few moments of that beeping going off, it's gonna release right on its own, the pot. You see that? My hands are right here the whole time. I didn't do anything. And the pin just dropped. And there's actually no physical pin to see on the Pro Plus. Instead, you have this little indicator here that will show you that the lid is still locked. So when that goes off, that means you can unlock the lid. All right, here we go. And there's my bean and escarole soup with some sausage in there, optionally. Delightful, look at how lovely that is. All right, final touch would be optional. If you don't want any dairy in there, you don't have to add this. About a half a cup of a grated Parmesan. I'm just gonna stir that into the soup, and it's just gonna liven the soup up even more. It's already a beautiful, glorious soup, but that cheese just takes it to the next level. Okay, so now I wanna talk about something that can be very, very, very damaging to any dish, salt. I love salt, but I hate an over-salted dish. Nothing can ruin a dish like having too much salt in it. Therefore, it's always important to remember, always start with less salt, and then you can add more. In this soup, we already have sausage and Parmesan, which is optional. You don't have to add those if you don't wish. I like to add them, but you do not have to add them, whether it be one or the other. They both emit plenty of savory into that soup. So my suggestion here is if you use both of those, or even one of them, taste the soup right before serving, and then see if you wanna add some seasoned salt. If you wanna add some at that point, add in like a teaspoon, or a little bit more than that. It's up to you, but just do it to taste. Now, if you didn't add any Parmesan or sausage, I would say you're probably gonna want between one and three teaspoons in there. So give it all a taste, it's all to taste, just remember, you can always add more salt, you can't really retract it. I mean, people will say, oh, you can put a potato in there, it'll soak it up, let's get real. Who wants to peel a potato and let it sit in a, like, a, like a lump of coal in this thing of soup, waiting for it to suck out the, give me a break, that's not gonna happen. If the worst comes to worst in that situation, you add like some water to it or something. Um, but I, if I were you, just literally follow my advice on that. I know this is a little long-winded, but I don't want you to over-salt anything. The sausage and the Parmesan, both of them, or just one or the other, will provide enough salt. Also, you can also use about a quarter cup of Parmesan, and then add up to a half a cup to taste. Again, everything is to taste. Your soup, your rules. Just don't over-salt it. Look at how beautiful that is. All right, let's ladle this up into some bowls. Go. If you want to put some more escarole, beans and sausage in there, however hearty you want that bowl of soup to be, that's completely up to you. All right, so now I'm gonna stick a spoon in there and we're going to try this out. Let's do it. All right guys, and there it is. Look at how beautiful this bowl of soup is. Look at this, full of greens, full of beans, full of some optional sausage. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, the flavor in this. It's insane. Oh, wow. This is absolutely spectacular, this soup. Mm. The escarole is literally like butter. It's like, mm. This is literally one of those soups that's just gonna make you happy. It's like, it makes dogs bark, it makes you happy. It's just everything you would want in a soup. And if you're like, oh, I don't want escarole and beans, that's so boring. I promise you, you try this soup, you're gonna be like, Okay, I get it. Beans and escarole soup, and maybe some sausage. Listen, to me, it's a party when there's some sausage. Whatever. Mm -hmm. you guys, if you enjoy these recipes, check out PressureLawCooking.com because I have a slew, a ton, a whole trove of recipes there. I'm the author of two number one best-selling cookbooks, the orange one, the step-by-step -step Instant Pot Cookbook, and the blue one, the lighter, as well as the third one, which is also a bestseller on Amazon when it just went on pre-order, which is The Simple Comfort. It's the yellow book comes out in April of 2022, and you're not gonna wanna miss that one either. Oh, of course, all the other social channels, facebook.com slash PressureLawCooking and at PressureLawCooking and all the other social things. As everything is so social these days. Wanna be social? Let's be social. But let's be informal about it. Thank you so much again guys, and I'll leave you with this the next time you want a soup on a very chilly day to warm your soul It's all about those sausage beans and escarole. Enjoy it. It's amazing <laughs>